it's always a party at Patchwork, so let's get this party started. Woot woot. Hi everyone, this is Julie from Patchworks, and I am so excited that you're joining us for another Must Sew TV tonight here at Patchworks. We are live in the store tonight, and we have a lot of really exciting things planned for you. It is our Patchworks Free Spirit Club tonight. So we're gonna be talking about lots of things free spirit. I have Tammy at the keyboard, Frank's behind the camera, so it is super exciting. And you know what? We have something super special for you today that we are gonna try that we haven't ever done before. We are going to do a live drawing at the end of our presentation today. And that live drawing, you can be entered in tonight by liking and commenting tonight, okay? Of course, share the love, share with your friends. That's always awesome. And so what are you going to be eligible to win? Well, you are going to be happy that you tuned in tonight because I have this collector bag Tula pink bag. <gasps> I got this at market, oh, a few years ago, maybe 2018, I don't know. And this was before homemade got put out. And then inside the bag, I have some goodies. I have a cut it up Victoria Finley Wolf sticker and six amazing pieces of fabric. So we have some really great things from my sales rep. We have this out of print piece here. We have some really awesome fairy dust because you can never have enough fairy dust. And then this gorgeous piece of Alice going down. Going down, so this is from this is just one, one of my very, very favorite ones there. So is that exciting? Are you excited? So what you want to do, make sure you let us know that you're watching and make sure to like this. And you know what? We love it when you share so that more people can join us. Or maybe you don't want people to be watching so that we have a limited prize pool. So how exciting is that? So tonight, we're gonna be talking Free Spirit Club. And I have two new fabric collections that I wanna share with you. And then we're going to look at some of the other fabric options we have. We're gonna talk about some upcoming things that are going to be shipping relatively soon. And then I had my Free Spirit Fabric appointment today. So we're going to be talking about some of the fabrics that are coming out in first quarter of 2023. Can you believe we're already talking about fabrics for 2023. Then uh, we'll be talking some technique. We are going to be talking about template cutting. And well, I think I might just have some other stuff to show you. So let's get started. And Frank, let's look overhead. So we have some beautiful fabrics here today. We have uh, the Victoria Findlay Wolf modern shirtings here on top. And with our Free Spirit Club, if this is the first time that you're tuning in, we offer curated collections that have 12 beautiful fabrics available in the fat eighth size or the fat quarter size. Of course, we have these fabrics available on the bolt as well. If you are a club member, you get to choose a pack and get some fun papers along with it. And if you are uh, just tuning in from afar and love what you see, let us know and we'd be more than happy to hook you up. We also have this collection, Treasure Island, from Philip Jacobs. And Philip Jacobs is part of the Cave Collective. He designs under the name of Snow Leopard. He has vibrant, beautiful fabrics. And we have you can see here how large and beautiful we have these fabrics here. Large, beautiful fabrics. This would be great for a 
Fasikat. This also, this type of print is perfect for a one block wonder or something or kaleidoscopy kind of quilt. Very, very saturated colors. Two fabrics that weren't included in our pack because there were 14 in the line are these beautiful fish. And then we also have this black and white design that's a sort of shell here. It's the seabed. So this one is called Stripey Fish, and this one is called Seabed. So we do have all of the yardage here, and we have these packs available as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. Now for those of you that are club members and you want to see what else we have going on, I did want to share with you some of the previous packs that we have. Now I'm just showing you a few. We have lots of these curated collections available, and there are 12 packs available in either the fat eighth or fat quarter size. So we have a beautiful cave, gorgeous pink tulas. This one we put together with a combination of our favorite designers here. Now let me see if I can shift this over so that we can see more of them together. Let's see here, let me take that off. There you go, you can see that. Here's a cave that's the beautiful, different colors of the Millefiore. In our Tim Holtz land, very masculine, very beautiful. Lots of Tim Holtz that we have available. And then of course, we have the gorgeous Halloween because, you know, we can celebrate Halloween every single day, right? So lots and lots and lots of options here for what you can choose. Hopefully there is something to your liking that you can find. The quilt that I have behind me is the Comfort and Joy quilt featuring the Holiday Homies flannel. We do still have some beautiful fat quarter towers that you would just need to pair some black background to if you wanted to make that quilt. It's a free and downloadable pattern from the Free Spirit website. And you also could grab your copy in store if you picked up all the fabric to make it. So we know if you wanted to start your holiday shopping or holiday quilting, you probably wanna get started even though it's August and it's state fair time it's still about time to get start thinking about those projects if you want to get them constructed and quilted in time for gift giving. So that is just a gorgeous quilt and this one finishes, I don't have the dimensions in front of me, but it's an ample quilt. This would be gorgeous for either an ample throw, but better for a bed quilt. On the teaser of our video program tonight, I showed a fun block. And that is a, let me pull it up here. It's from the Blown Away Quilt from Free Spirit. And I'm just going to position a few things here so that we can see them. And let's see here. So it is, the blown away quilt. Let's look overhead, Frank. At this beautiful block. So this block here, this is from a combination of different fabrics. So what I wanted to share here was a project where you use lots of different fabrics. So not just fabric from one of your packs, but if you have been a club member, you've been playing along with us all year and you may have, you know, a few packs that you want to play with and maybe you're thinking, hmm, do these packs, packs play together? So, you know, maybe your Tim Holtz doesn't go with your Philip Jacobs, but I bet you your Philip Jacob goes with your Tula, which goes with your Cafe, which goes with your Victoria Findlay Wolf. 
and then your Tim Holtz, well, you know, the Tim Holtz plays with that Tim Holtz, which plays with this Tim Holtz. So you just really have the availability of playing with all sorts of different fabrics that go together. Feel free to play and have things go along. What I always say in the shop is, if somebody doesn't belong, rather than taking him out, just add more friends, okay? My favorite, favorite, favorite quilts have over 50 prints in them. <gasps> I know, how scary. Okay, so this particular print here, I took a combination of different fabrics that we featured from clubs throughout the year so far, and I used this pattern here, which is the blown away pattern, from the Free Spirit website. Now, I don't think I gave Tammy this link before we went live, and so she's looking at me like I'm absolutely crazy. So what she's going to do is she's gonna quick look for it, and it is, um, I think, just on the first page of the Free Project sheet on the Free Spirit website. So she's gonna look that up, and on here, they did a curated collection. This is a oldie but goodie pattern, and what I want to share with you is that they used a ton of different fabrics and they did a color wash here, okay? So you can see that there's a color wash going from dark to light, okay? So lots of different ways to play with your fabrics and include many, many, many of them. So this might seem like a complicated pattern to make, but I wanted to share with you that it indeed is not. So to get started with this pattern, let me shift this over. And Frank, you're gonna have to help me out a little bit here. I can't see the screen so well, so let me know that I'm in, in screen. Okay, so I'm in screen here, and you can see here that I have eight different fabrics. Now for purposes of this discussion, I'm only using the eight fabrics for the octagon and then I'm using a, uh, a piece for the setting, okay? So how they actually show it to you in the pattern is that you are working with them skewed like this, okay? which then it's kind of hard to see how they go together. So you can see these are interesting shapes and the interesting shapes are cut from templates. So they print the templates here in the pattern and we cut them out. When you're working with templates, you want to make sure that you measure the scale that it shows you. It was an inch scale, so we just made sure to measure with our ruler to make sure it measured an inch. Now, these little nubbies that are taken off help us so that we can um, help us so that we can line everything up and not have too much bulk. When you're cutting with a template, you're going to cut strips first. And here we have a strip. It is a four and three quarter inch strip. And here I even have my fabric folded so I can cut more than one layer at a time. And I had cut the other ones here. I can line up my piece either to my cut edge or just in between. Okay. I'm gonna line it up on my cut edge. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to use my ruler here to line it up, and then I can cut, okay? Then you can go ahead and trim off these extra guys, okay? Now, that is one way of using a template. Another way of using a template is if you have a ruler that is the shape, this degree, so this would be a since it's an octagon, oh my goodness, what does that mean? That means this is a 45 degree angle. Now, right, 45? No, 45, 
that's a 90, yet is a 45. So that means it's this. So, oh, looky there. Okay, if I take my rotary mate here, you can see the perpendicular in here come here. So, if you have a 45 degree triangle ruler, you also could use some tape to do that. Now, I didn't have a 45 degree uh, triangle ruler in stock that I could have shown you what how to do that, but um, we'll have to do that in a future class, okay? So interesting is that, see, the 45 degree is the same as that from an angle perspective. Ha! Huh. Who knew? Okay. If you wanted to use a fabric like the deer and fussy cut it, you could position this on top. You could trace this first with uh, some template plastic so you could see it because when I put it on top, you can't really see it. You could also mark but template plastic also works. But that's how we did this one right here, okay? And so we individually cut each of these. Here we stacked and cut, but the deer we individually cut. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is shape one. So it starts from a four and three quarter inch strip. You cut from there. And then for our corners, which we're gonna have right there, four corners. We are going to cut that from this piece, and that is going to be from a three inch strip. So for that, we are going to first cut a straight edge, okay? So I'm gonna rotate this around. Oh, this is where I need to get my rotating mat out. I always say that, don't I, when we do our little demos. I always talk about that. So I lined this up on the edge. If you wanted to put a little dab of glue in there, you totally can. Then, now look at this, this is super slick, okay? So this is my Rotary Mate ruler, uh, designed by Trudy Hughes of Patched Works in 1986. It's still one of the best rulers around, my very, very favorite. So do you see this little notch here? Right at the quarter inch at this angle here, okay? What we're gonna do, is that we are going to, da, 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 da. yes, you do make the sound effects when you do that, okay? So you are going to line this up right at the edge, okay? Do you see that? I don't know if you can see that. So we have it so that this edge here and this edge here. So this is perfect. It's right on the quarter inch. And I'm going to go. Beautiful. And then I can go and take off my little corners. So I love, 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 love my rotary mate ruler for many, many things. But I also like that we have this notch right in there, which can be really, really handy for doing our 45 degree cuts off of the strip. Come into the store if you'd like us to show you up close. Lisa is an expert. Okay, so we have our parts cut. Now how are we going to put this together? We are going to put these together in pairs, okay? So I take the deer and put it here, this guy to this guy. Now it's important to stay, if you want to keep it organized in a certain way, you want to make sure you know which side you're sewing, okay? Because if I sew on this side, it will go together. I just don't have them in the same order. So you're going to pair them up. When you pair them up, you're going to then sew. Okay, so I paired here to here. You're going to sew. You're going to open it up. I do recommend pre-starching your fabric prior to cutting out your triangles because there are the bias edges and starch helps stabilize that bias edge. We're gonna press all of our seams open because we're crazy that way. If you really want, I'll let you press it to one side. Okay, then you're going to take your pairs 
put them together. Do, 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 do. And look at how amazing this is. Heidi did such a great job of getting that point. So do you see how that point is a quarter inch in? That's how you want it, okay? So you'll have your two halves. Sew your two halves together. Here you're going to want to use a pin, okay? I didn't use a pin or she didn't use a pin for the other parts, but you're going to want to use a pin there. All right, so then you're going to have this together. Make sure you give it a nice press. And for the center here, when you're pressing it, you don't want to stretch it, so just press. Remember, when you're using your iron, you want to have the least amount of work for your, so you're just going to press it and let, let the iron do the work. And then you can put on your edges. So you don't want to put your edges on before you have your piece together. So here we went ahead and put one on. If you didn't want to do all the crazy notching, it would work and then you just can notch it afterwards. And so then you'll just put your four corners on, no trimming, and voila, you are done. So you could either have them all matchy-matchy, have them all the same fabric, and then you get an interesting sort of square in between. Or the way this pattern was designed, you just have a waterfall of all of your different fabrics. Isn't that pretty? So all of the waterfall in there, and um, you can just play with fabrics. So include as many fabrics as you like, or as few. But that is our fun project. So if you ha are a club member, you will have, um, you will have a pattern to pick up. And if you are a, um, just watching from afar, you can pick up later. I couldn't get them to send back what happened on the desktop to make the video back up. Okay. I'll All right, so uh, Tammy just wanted to let us know that uh, she will be adding that link later because um, just because we're having all sorts of fun with technology here today. <laughs> so for, for lack of better explanation, fun with technology. So I think it was a fun block, and I hope you learned a little bit of something. And thanks to all the people who are joining us tonight. Remember to comment, like, so that you can be entered into the drawing that we're going to be having at the end of the program. Also, for those of you who are watching, we often talk about our Toes in the Sand program. So I just want to let you know if you are participating in the Toes in the Sand or would like to, uh, we do have Block 8 ready for pickup and we'll be presenting the block in next week's presentation, our Block of the Month presentation. But we have those ready to go, and I believe they've already been shipped out for those of you who are making them from afar. We have a few kits, right, Tammy, a few kits? Yep. So she nodded and let me know, so we have a few ready to go if you just wanted to start, uh, if you wanted to start that quilt up, because it's never too late to join. And Julie Herman has some really, really, really incredible uh, videos to go along with her program. So with her things, I just want to let you know, she has a few other quilts that she was talking about. So it was, Frank, was it Sweet Tooth? Sweet Tooth. So we have Sweet Tooth patterns on order. I know that she gave out uh, an updated fabric list for that. I don't know if she's planning a quilt along for 2023 or whatnot. But I want to let you know that anytime she shares a pattern with you, you are more than welcome to just let us know because we like to carry lots of Jaybird stuff, but we can't stock it all, all of the time. So we'd be more than happy to bring it in for you. I believe we're going to be getting those patterns later this month. Uh, they were back ordered at all of the distributors because no one uh, was aware that we'd be all excited about Sweet Tooth. So um, she'll, we'll have those in stock soon. And just give us a call and let us know. So, um, 
what I also want to share with you is some of the things that, let's see if technology will work this way. I'm not really sure, but we will see. Uh, I've prepped some things that remember I had said that I had seen my free spirit rep today, which is super, super, super exciting and got to see a lot of the different fabrics. So let's see if I can share with you and maybe not, and if for some reason I lose you, I hope I don't. If I lose you, I promise we're recording this and I'll be back. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. And lots of lots and lots of really exciting things. So we are talking about Victoria Findlay Wolf and we have her latest, latest, latest Oops, here we go. So we can see her latest things. So you can check on the Free Spirit website in the just released some of the really new things. So here, this particular collection is called the Next Door Collection. This is going to be available in January. And so January is, well, you know, it could be January, February, March, who knows, September of next year, you never know. But um, this is the target time is January. I love, love, love this particular piece. You can see here this gorgeous, beautiful piece. I love it. Maybe you can't see that piece. Yes, you can. Okay. So that is really pretty. And we do have that on order. Next up, I want to share with you the new Tim Holtz which is coming. So the, Tim Holtz has two different things that are coming. So he has a new basic, and I know we love the Tim Holtz basic. So this is called Cracked Shadow. And so Cracked Shadow has, you can't see it? Thank you so much for telling me, Tammy. How about now? So you can see the Cracked Shadow. So I'm gonna go back and we'll be able to see the Cracked Shadow the whole collection. So there's 12 different colors, which is perfect. I think they're like listening to our club and coming out with 12 in their collection so that we can just carry the 12, which is beautiful. So you can get them all with your club pack. I love it. So it's really, really nice. They are digitally printed, which gets a that very interesting texture. A lot of times I am not a fan of textures in digitals, but sometimes with the Tim Holtz and his distressed look, it's just very effective with that digital printing. Then for, so that is February, yep, February, so once again, February-ish. Then we have our next one which is some new cave. Hoo -hoo. So we're waiting still on some cave that we've ordered a while ago. Then we're going to be getting all of the cave 85 and fabulous. And for the cave collective February 2023, there are 60 amazing fabrics. So we have a subset of these that we'll be getting in, which are just gorgeous. Nope, I can't see those. You can't see those. Okay. Now you can. Now, now she can. <laughs> so my favorite print here, it's very similar to that uh, Victoria Finley Wolf that we were looking at that has the little medallions in here. So this one's called Carpet Cookies. And I'm not quite sure as to why it's called Carpet Cookies, but I think that's pretty cool. Available in a variety of different colors. And it's just gorgeous. So there also are a whole bunch of pre-cuts available as well. 
Let us know if you're interested in the pre-cuts. Um, lots of different things are available. And as I said, we can't carry them all. So let us know what you're interested in because we want to make sure we can carry what you like. The other thing I want to share with you that I was curious about is a new substrate called Embark and in the Embark it is a 6.2 ounce canvas, okay? In the Embark page, there's also a whole bunch of inspiration that doesn't want to load. So we're not going to wait for it to load here. But uh, there are five or six different prints, which are just super cool. And you can see the favorite, 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 this really cool map. So it comes with a slightly higher price point. I think it's cool. I want to make sure you think it's cool. And let me know. So, question. question. Are there patterns that go with those bags that we're seeing in there? There are patterns that go along with the with the page or with those with those pieces. So what you're going to want to do is we will post after the show here. Um, actually, I can probably post it right here. I'm going to copy it and put it here in the comments since I have it up. Um, you can go along and check out that lookbook. There's 22 yummy, sumptuous pages that show a variety of different projects that you can uh, check out to see if you like that. So, um, Linda, I see that you are frozen, and um, this is, I'm hoping everybody's not frozen. This is being recorded, so if it is, we will be able to uh, come back. But thanks, Barb, for letting me know that you are not. So, perfect. Gotta love technology. All right. So, we have lots of new fabrics. So, that we're talking way, way, way into January of next year. And you might be saying, well, Julie, what's coming up soon? Because we're waiting on Parisville Deja Vu from Tula Pink. Isn't that shipping soon? Well, um, last update I got on Friday, they said they'd be shipping it out next week. So cross your fingers because I think I told you two weeks ago they were shipping next week. So soon, but I assure you nobody has it yet and we are on the first run to get it. Uh, let us know if you needed to get a yard or two yard stack or, you know, eight yard stack of it all. I know it is going to go quick. And um, so if you had your heart set on it, even just give us a type to let you know. I will be put, putting it on social media the instant it arrives. But if you needed a call or a special email, just let us know as well. So that is super exciting. Um, always lots of good fabrics coming. We are also super excited about uh, some black and white uh, variety of different designer fabrics, which brings us to the Free Spirit Reorder Catalog. So some of you have mentioned to me that you were concerned about what the reorder, uh, reorder availability is going to be of different things come this new calendar year. The, what I can tell you after being updated today from my fabric rep is that they will be releasing a new reorderable catalog in October. Already there are some Tim Holtz foundations which are on their way out, which had been in there, um, for line work. A lot of the basic black and whites are going to be continuing. But if you need anything specific from line work, like any of the ones with animals, let me know so that we can make sure we can get for you what you need. I do have a 
Free Spirit reorder, which is coming in, and I believe everything I ordered, which we had been out of stock in, is coming, okay? So we'll be completely restocked in all of the True Colors and all of the Tula Solids and a whole bunch of Tim Holtz, um, as well as some line work that we had been out of. So let us know if you needed something so we can get you what you need. And then we will, um, once the new 2020 to fall calendar or catalog will be released, we'll be able to offer those to you as well. Okay, so that is that exciting piece. I looked at the comments. I shouldn't look at the comments. I guess I'm, it's like watching some sort of foreign film that my my lips are out of sync today. Who knows, we gotta look at our bandwidth and see how we can just get all of the internet. The Spectrum guy is gonna be coming here. Um, they wanna they wanna have a <laughs> set up an appointment and have me sign a new contract. So maybe they like cranked down the bandwidth just prior to our, <laughs> just prior to our meetings that I sign up and give them uh, more money, I don't know. All right, so I wanted to let you <laughs> Sorry, I can see your comment, Jean. So I'm happy that you get to lip sync that or lip or lip read. I actually wasn't saying anything. So, all right, I'll stop being silly. Let me show you some of the pre-cuts we have in stock. So, we have some really fun. I know we've been waiting on some Tula kits. You can let's look overhead so that then they don't have to follow my lips. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, we have some really fun Tula kits in stock. So we have the Nutty Quilt Kit, which is the one that was released with the Tiny Beasts. Oh, and we have more of the Ladybugs coming in, just so you know, those should be here soon. We also have the Pining For You Quilt Kit, which is super fun, and it has all these gorgeous solids in it, in addition to the Daydreamer fabrics. So this one um, makes a 72 by 77, and this is a 75 by 87. Really fun. We have coming in, we will be getting the, oh goodness, the one with the circle. Sunburst? Sunburst. Is that the sunburst? We can't look right now, so, uh, but we have that one, and then we will also have uh, the Moon Garden kit. We have a couple of those that will be available, and that is first going to be November or such at the end of the year. But we have two more kits planned for 2022. And Julie wants to know, do we have quilt kits for the quilt behind me? And yes, indeed we do. We have the Fat Quarter Tower which has the 17 fat quarters, so that's $64.99, and then we would just add the black uh, background. There are some that would like to have the, this, uh, the background in white or a different color, so you do have the option of choosing a different background. So the fat quarter stack to make your quilt, and then you add a background, and then we would give you the pattern for that. So thank you, Julie, for asking that question. We do also, I just wanted to share, we have a variety of different fat quarter and half yard stacks available. So we do have all of the tiny dots, tiny stripes available in packs for you, both combined and separate. This is one of those true colors. So we are restocking this as well, which is super exciting. We have a bunch of two and a half inch design rolls. So um, Free Spirit calls these design rolls instead of jelly rolls. But we have a whole bunch of cave, a whole bunch of tulas. I didn't grab all of them here. And then we have in the five and 10 inch, we have the latest from Tula. So the Tiny Beasts combined with the Tiny True and Tiny Stripes. 
lots and lots of fun stuff. And then I do have, I think, one more entire fat quarter tower of Night Fancy from Victoria Findlay Wolf, which has all of these yummy fabrics in here, which would be super great for incorporating into your quilt. Since I know a lot of you collect a lot more Tula than you do of other designers, you could just simply add this. But as everything, we have um, we have limited selection available. Claudia, thank you, thank you, thank you for chiming in with a comment. So Claudia wants to remind me to tell you that Tula has some brand, brand, brand new thread boxes coming out, which are super cool. And I am placing a special order with Orophil. So thank you, Claudia, for letting me know. And let me show you a picture of those. So Tula loves Orophil thread. And actually, she was one of the very first Orophil thread ambassadors. So these spools here so it is variegated it's available in both the large spool and small spool variety i don't have the pricing off the top of my head they are they look different don't they i thought they were the same collections but they are different well one has 12 in it and one has 10. huh so very interesting but let me know if you had wanted to get be in on that special order i will get you that pricing and you would get your free spirit tula discount on that thread collection and a couple of you had wanted the um victoria finley wolf collection as well so any free spirit designer i would extend that discount to you as well um, but if there were other collections that you had needed that you just had wanted off of the orphil website I would be more than happy to simply special order that. Now you can see here the special artwork that she had done is really, really awesome and amazing. So, you know, you'll just want to get one of each size because you're going to want to get the large and the small so that you can just collect them all, right? And they come in those pretty boxes? They come in the pretty boxes, Tammy. Isn't that amazing? So that's actually one of the reasons why we need to get them. So, because they're just so pretty. But um, we don't uh, stock dozens and dozens of these. So if you had wanted to make sure that you were able to secure one, let us know. And we'll be ordering direct from Orophil. Uh, I know that there have been some rumblings on the internet that uh, some people have ordered from places and have gotten the old artwork oh no the old artwork um and so don't worry any of these special order boxes that you'd get from us would have the new artwork okay so yes linda it comes in the box so either the small little box or the big box what else do i have to show you today so um i just want to oh when do i need to know so eileen wants to know when do I need to know when to order? So I would like to know sooner than later. And that is, I had given everybody the cutoff for end of business Friday. Um, why don't I extend that through uh, by close on Saturday? If you miss out on this first order batch, you would likely have the opportunity to order again. I just want to make sure that you um, know that there might be a wait because we don't order direct from Orphil all of the time. That it? That's it. Oh, so the Sunshine Daydreamer Quilt Kit. Um, can I just, yeah. so here we go. So this is very techni technical savvy. So can you show overhead, Frank? So we're going to show you here. Ooh, this one, so our website. So we do have a few unspoken for uh, of these kits. So that still is coming. And um, thank you, Tammy, for finding that on uh, your phone. <laughs> you know, so we can we always find a way, right? We are very ad we adapt. Okay, so before we do our drawing here, because Tammy's 
co getting all that stuff together. How, how are we doing, Tammy? Are you oh, doing pretty I good? I have a question about the drawing. Oh, yes. What's the question about the drawing? Are, are your siblings allowed, the store owner's siblings allowed to be entered into the drawing? Oh, goodness. <laughs> so are store owner's siblings allowed to be entered? So what do you think? Public vote. <laughs> Public vote. Is Kathy allowed? I don't know. And Mark. Oh, Mark. <laughs> so, siblings, that's really funny. <laughs> Tammy wants to win. That's what this is all about. Okay, so, um, oh, Claudia, thank you. Sure, why not? It's random, right? Kathy says yes. Oh, Kathy says yes. Thank you, Kathy. All right. <laughs> Okay, they're both going in. All right, so other things I want to share with you. We just got in some more cuddle. Uh, we love Shannon Cuddle, and we got in a large segment here. So this, we have some Cuddle Lux, which is now available in 80 inches wide. So the this hide here is really, really nice, and it's available in the 80 inches, not quite as wide as that 90 inch, that is great for backings. So we got a few more colors of the 90 in. And then a few specialty items from when we had our sample show here. So I know there were several of you who came in and shared with us what you think we needed to get. <gasps> Look at this one. Isn't this amazing? So really, really exciting. We got some great, we got some great things here. So this is really nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then um, in non-cuddle, non-free um, spirit, just have to show you. Let's look overhead, Frank. We have some Halloween gnomies that are in. I know there were some of you who were looking to get some Halloween gnomies. So this is the Northcott Gnomes Night Out. So we do have the full collection. And we also have this really cool panel treat bag. So if you weren't interested in making a treat bag, you could, of course, still make, just cut these guys out and use them in a quilt. I mean, look, they are adorbs. Okay, so really nice. If you had wanted... Pat, I, I know, we got it just for you. <laughs> Tammy's giggling maniacally over there. Okay, so you can cut it out or, I mean, look at this nice little treat bag. Oh, and we were talking to a customer today and she's like, well, I, I don't have kitties. And I said, why do you need a kid to have a trick-or-treat bag? I mean, like for me, I would just walk around with a bag full of candy. I, I wouldn't necessarily even share. I just need a whole bag for my candy. And then of course you have some really cool straps. So we've been keeping on ordering and keep on getting some gnomes. So while you are interested in gnomes, we will help support your need for gnomes. Let, um, the runner, oh! We're going to give you a sneak peek of something. So this is also super exciting because you love to win prizes, right? So tomorrow I have been invited by Doug to participate in his Tabletastic 3 Instagram hop, okay? So I'm going to show you a runner that we just finished up. And I got to quilt it or do something with it. But it, I have to show it to you. So this is 12 different fabrics, okay? So this would work really, really well with any of the packs that I shared with you as well, okay? So it's two and a half inch strips, which is really, really simple. And can't you even see this adapted into a quilt? Oh my goodness, this would just be fun. So really simple, really fun to make, 12 different fabrics. I also love it because, you know, I'm, in case you didn't know it, Sometimes I can be a little OCD, okay? Not clinically, just, you know, in general. So I really like with the 12 that I was able to get it so that stuff wasn't touching. 
because sometimes when you have fewer fabrics, it's really hard to get things not to touch. And I know I share with you in some of these presentations that you don't need to obsess over things and you don't need to obsess, but when you can help it easily, sometimes I prefer to not have things touch. So uh, this is really fun, really easy. Uh, make sure to log on to Instagram tomorrow and uh, Doug's going to be giving away copies of his book. Uh, I'm going to have a, su a super special extra giveaway that we're going to be giving away, which is really exciting. And that contest happens exclusively on Instagram with liking and making sure you follow us on Instagram. So that is super exciting. And there are 18 other shops and designers that are participating in this. And I believe most of them have their own prizes as well. So 18 books that are given away and a lot of other prizes. So you're gonna wanna check that out. Frank, what else did I forget? Can we go back to the cuddle for a second? Oh, we're gonna go back to the cuddle for a second. So Okay, so the question is, so Diane Jasper wants to know if I have bed sheet directions available. So I do have, we had a class with um, our regional Shannon ambassador and she provided us with a supply list. I do have a um, basic instruction. It's I believe if we hold out for just a tad longer, we're going to get one of those really nice, um, we're gonna get one of those really nice polished instruction sheets from Shannon. So we might, if you don't need to make it today and you weren't able to make the class, we can walk you through it, but um, you probably will have better success with one of their illustrated pattern sheets that they're going to make available. And speaking of our uh, cuddle, we do have one Shannon Cuddle VIP experience remaining to allow you to be a participant in the studio audience as well as all three classes when Teresa Coates and Hawk come to visit us on September 27th and 28th. So that is super, super, super exciting. All right, so I teased you about the Instagram hop with Doug on for the Table Tastic. So our Table Tastic drawing will run through August 6th. I believe his Instagram hop is from is now through August 6th. So we will be leaving our contest open through August 6th. So the post is going to go up at some point early tomorrow. Um, I'm not fancy enough to have it timed to go up. It's not a time specific. It's not going to be an Instagram Live. At least that was not the intention. Who knows what I'm going to do. But the official post is going where you'll be able to enter for the uh, prize will just be a static post. Okay. So, and I'll share it over on Facebook that we did it so that you'll hop over to Instagram to participate so that you won't miss out. Sound good? Great. All right. Any other questions before we do our drawing? And last chance, if you just tuned in, to make sure to comment and like so that you can get in on the fabulous prize drawing. So there's one other question. One other question we have. So my sister is being super sassy and wants to know if food can touch on the plate. <sighs> so the tales she can tell. I am just fine with mashed potatoes and corn touching on my plate. And as an adult, Frank has gotten me to even mix some meat, corn, and potatoes together in the same spoonful. So thank you so much, Kathy, for sharing that information. <laughs> She's also afraid she's out of the drawing. She's also afraid. We, we're going to pull your name now. All right. So <laughs> as a reminder, so thank you everyone for playing today. We go live every single Thursday. Well, we try to go live. We 
um, every single Thursday at 7 p.m. You can also watch all of our previous episodes on our YouTube channel. So you're going to want to subscribe to that. And, you know, you could binge watch Julie for, you know, hours on end. So I can't even read the comments anymore. Um, <laughs> so lots of beautiful fabric, a really fun sticker, and this awesome bag that uh, Tammy almost tackled me for and wouldn't let you do the drawing with. So super exciting. Cross your fingers. Thank you for tuning in. I had lots of fun tonight. Thank you for putting up with all the silliness. Uh, let's do a drawing. Da, 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 da. And the winner is, <gasps> congratulations, Roxanne W., who joined us yesterday for class. Welcome to our customer family. Congratulations on winning. And we look forward to seeing all of you soon. So happy quilting. And we will see you soon. <laughs>